So chickity check to the Chinese chicken and had a drumstick and the brain stopped ticking. Watching the next files with no lights on, without a maze on, without a hidden by Aquaman. Like Harrison Ford, I'm getting a bad trick. Blinking with Susan Brand trick. You know, I didn't have that some of them. The finest of the flavors. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. But uh, basically, welcome to the Milan, uh, Joshua Milan Show, Milan Technologies. What we do is we think outside of the box. There's a big, huge box that's called the Internet. And uh, a lot of people think that you have to conform to what everybody else is doing or whatever is popular or whatever. It doesn't really matter. If you have an idea and you have also the funding and the budget to back that idea, then you can make that become a reality. You cannot create an application and put it online. And yeah, I'm putting you in a box right now. But this is a literal box. This is a real one. The only real box that's out there is the the immaterial false belief box of if you build it, they're going to come. It doesn't happen. You got to market it. You got to share it. You got to get online and, and tell every Tom, Dick, and Harry, Jane, Sue, and, and Molly it, to get on your site and check it out and play around with it and see if they like it. Then you got to take their suggestions and make the modifications to your program of whatever it is that they want. You have to make your program fit what your visitors want. And your idea may not be what anybody else wants. So you have to be flexible. You need to be realistic. You need to have patience. And uh, basically, you need to hire somebody who knows all that. You need to be able to accept that your project might need to be launched in stages. So you can get the most valuable piece of your application online within a shorter amount of time without all the bells and whistles and fancy everything. Get that out online. Get people to try it. Get people to like it. Get people to give feedback. And then you go back to the drawing board and you add to the base that you created and modify it how the people like it. That is the only way that you can launch a successful product. And again, that's a box because that was, uh, you know, me saying that this is the only way that it works, but that's how most of them work. So you go look at anything, look at Facebook. They were online at college campuses for a while and they were restricted to EDU addresses. And after a while, people started using it and, um, you know, through people got sick of MySpace, people were way done with AOL and they were still looking for online communities. And so... It was only about, what, 10 years ago when they lifted the limitation of getting on the EDUs. And so everybody was able to get on there. And they had a big boom, and everybody got on there. Even I got on there because I was actually trying to build one. And so um, I met my wife on there shortly after that, and we've been married for seven years very happily. We have uh, five kids now that will be, uh, well, five as of this September anyways. And... Uh, you know, the online world is, is a crazy place, but it can work. It does work. And there are a lot of people who do very well online. But there are rules and there are limitations. And there are guidelines that, that you have to follow, that you need to be aware of. So you don't fall into that hole where 97% of the people who get online fall. And that's a place where nobody goes, where nobody knows that you even exist because you haven't done your homework and you don't know how to find the right people or person to sh make you visible and give you the right uh, information for social networking and linking and backlinking and all that stuff. So if you want a little help in that arena, if you want a little help with, with what you've got going on, uh, give me a jingle, shoot me an email. Visit my website. Uh, check out, uh, do a Google, just Google me, Joshua Milan. I'm all over the place. And uh, I can help you out. So hope you have a great day. And hope you enjoyed this little uh, tidbit of Milan technology-ness. Yeah, I just said that. Okay, have a good day.